GameStop stock is once again on an extreme ride, soaring over 20% on November 29th, and is now up more than 35% just days before the company's much-anticipated earnings report. But what's fueling this latest surge? And could it be the start of another meme stock frenzy? Today we're about to dive into the electrifying world of GameStop and uncover the reasons behind its recent skyrocketing stock price. Is this just another blip on the radar? Or is something more significant at play? Let's find out. Recent Surge in GameStop Stock First off, traders are super hyped, betting big on GameStop hitting over $20 by December. This is being fueled by a combination of highly speculative trading and clever option plays. But there's more to this story. GameStop, once the underdog with a bit of a losing streak, just flipped the script. They've posted their first profitable quarter in two years, raking in a cool $48.2 million for Q4 of fiscal 2022. This news has turned some heads and gotten investors, who were once giving GameStop the side eye, to take a second look. Then there's the overall market vibe. It's like everyone's caught the optimism bug, especially with meme stocks. GameStop's leading the pack, and with the S&P 500 doing its thing, people are feeling pretty good. Some traders are even betting on 50% jump in GameStop stock in just a week. It's like everyone's got FOMO and they don't want to miss out on this action. Remember the 2021 frenzy? Well, this feels like deja vu. It's a mix of actual company performance and some serious market speculation that's making the lines blur. With GameStop's earnings report around the corner, all eyes are on them. Also, there's been some changes in the higher authority of the company. Plus, their latest earnings report was a jaw-dropper. They announced a massive $1 billion profit and a $1 billion inventory gain. It makes sense why the stock is burning. Recap of GameStop's stock history. GameStop's recent profits, the happy-go-lucky market mood, some daring trades, and the magic of meme stocks is not everything you need to know. It isn't just a tale from 2021. It's a story that starts way back in 1984, when GameStop first opened its doors for years. Its stock performance mirrored that of a dormant asset, consistent, yet largely unremarkable. But then 2021 hits, and things get crazy. A group of Redditors from the subreddit r Wall Street Bets really shook things up with GameStop stock. The stock rockets to nearly $350 by January 27th, Elon Musk tweets about our Wall Street bets on January 26th, and suddenly their club goes from 2.06 million to a whopping 6.2 million members in just three days. Then there's Ryan Cohen from Chewy, who got in on GameStop back in August 2020 and later joined the board. Plus, everyone's thinking the short sellers are about to get a reality check, pushing the stock even higher. All these moves mixed with GameStop's own vibe and the play of investors like Cohen totally skyrocketed the stock. Then around 140% of GameStop's public float was being shorted. In simpler terms, a bunch of people bet against GameStop, thinking it would crash and burn. But as the share price soared, they were caught in a bind and forced to buy back shares at sky-high prices, pushing the stock even higher. It's like betting all your chips on black and watching the ball land on red. Back in 2019, they switched gears towards e-commerce and digital sales, and the crowd went insane. Then, in 2020, big shot investor Ryan Cohen joins the party, and the buzz gets louder. Analysts' perspectives and market reaction. In a dramatic twist, GameStop's stock is akin to a financial turn and seems rooted in a trifecta of market phenomena, a short squeeze, momentum trading, and the whims of retail investors. The short squeeze scenario heavily bet against by short sellers unexpectedly soared. This surge forced these naysayers to buy back shares, further inflating the stock price in a self-fulfilling prophecy of market dynamics. Meanwhile, momentum traders, even the surfers of market waves, hopped on this ascending financial tide, paying little heed to the company's actual financial health. Here in the wild west of social media, enthusiasm and speculation have often propelled stocks to starry heights, detached from earthly fundamentals. The market's reaction to GameStop's unexpected ascent has been mixed. Some investors and traders are toasting what they perceive as a sign of GameStop's 
phoenix-like resurgence. In contrast, others more skeptical view this as a speculative bubble ripe for a burst. The concern looms that the stock's upward sprint is more of a mirage than a reflection of the company's core financial health, potentially leading to a harsh reality check. Experts, meanwhile, are raising red flags about possible market turbulence ahead, and the specter of regulatory scrutiny looms large. Additionally, this surge might just be the siren call for fresh short sellers, setting the stage for more market drama. Amidst all this, the fear persists that GameStop's story could morph into another chapter of the meme stock saga, joining the likes of AMC and BlackBerry in this year's market lore. As the situation continues to unfold, one thing is certain. The GameStop stock narrative is far from its final chapter. Anticipation for Earnings Report As the calendar flips to December 6th, there's a palpable buzz in the air. The beloved and beleaguered darling of the gaming world is set to drop its latest earnings report. Just when the stakes couldn't get higher, GameStop's stock decided to pull a dramatic about-face right before its fiscal Q3 2024 earnings reveal. So, what's the word on the street? Analysts are tossing around predictions like confetti at a parade, with most expecting GameStop to announce revenues in the ballpark of $1.1 billion. That's a teeny tiny step back of 0.3% from last year. Not exactly earth-shattering, but in the high-stakes world of finance, even small ripples can make big waves. But while some are donning rose-tinted glasses, a few Debbie Downers in the analyst community are singing a different tune. These people are squinting into their crystal balls, seeing a GameStop that might not hit its stride in the profit department until FY 2025. Now let's get down to the details. GameStop's financial health is under the microscope, and analysts are betting on a 60% growth in EPS. That's coupled with a slight uptick in revenue. Sure, these might just be numbers, but they're the kind of numbers that make or break stock assessments. Here, the report is going to cover the fiscal quarter that ended in October 2023. If we're to believe the people at Zach's Investment Research who've been crunching numbers based on three analysts' forecasts, GameStop's looking at a consensus EPS forecast of minus 0.02 for the fiscal period ending in January 2024. Slightly better news for the year after, with a forecast of minus 0.01. As the big day inches closer, investors are getting antsier. There's talk of a 28% spike in GameStop's stock next week. Why? Well, it seems meme stocks are making a comeback, and everyone loves a good comeback story. So, GameStop's upcoming earnings report is the talk of the town. Expectations are all over the map, from a slight revenue dip to more pessimistic forecasts. But one thing's for sure, when GameStop speaks, the market listens. And this time, it's not just listening, it's leaning in. Do you think GameStop stock continues to soar, or is this just a temporary blip? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more great investigation about the stock market. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.